that's, that's a turn up for the books. Right then, hello, who's this? Come on, guys. Let's head for the action. Strange person. And we now have the hottest BMX professional series ever as Roker Venture presents the ESPN BMX Pro Spectacular. All season long, we've been seeing A Pro action throughout the Pro Spectacular. We're going to take a look now at what they call the B Pro category. Dean Bradley, maybe you can explain how the B Pro category became. Well, the B Pros are essentially uh, riders who just recently transferred out of the amateur ranks. So they're up and comers, and they're they're definitely pro riders. I mean, there's nothing amateur about these guys, but they are new to the pro ranks. So it's kind of like rookies, more or less, that are turning pro. Absolutely. Well, let's take a look at our very first semi main. The B Pros have two semis. We've got eight racers in each semi. Mickey Lundy, Ricky Campbell, Gary Hatton. Hasselhorst, Tracy Finn, Jerry Jones, Nelson Shannity, always tough, Andy Patterson, and Bob Bigwigno. Can you help me with that last name, Dave? Uh, no, unfortunately, <laughs> I really can't. Uh, I don't think I'm going to test that on the 10 foot pole. <laughs> this is going to be a hot moto. These B pros, again, they're, they're better than the top amateurs, and they're almost the level of the A pros. They are racing for money. We're going to go over their first breakdown in a little bit. But as they come out of this gate, we've got eight racers across the track, handlebar to handlebar, pedal to pedal. That's Andy Patterson out in front, followed by Mickey Lundy. Andy Patterson, also known as Bigfoot in this race, a screamer of an amateur and also doing great now in the B Pro ranks. The B Pros, as a pro, go around two times around this track. This is really an experience for these B Pros to be getting the same kind of racing that the A Pros do. Right, now keep an eye on Mickey Lundy. It looks like he's setting up Andy Patterson, who's in the lead right now for a pass. I wouldn't be surprised at all if Lundy pulls a last-minute pass right before the line. Again, these B Pros are not really used to running two laps around a track. Fatigue's going to be a factor as most of these guys don't train for a second lap. Most of the photos are about 30 to 40 seconds long. These guys are racing almost a minute. Okay, D, you might notice that uh, we've got a little, little lead change here. It looks like Nelson Chanity in second place. I was hoping that uh, Lundy would be able to move up, but they're taking it easy. They're conserving their strength for that main. Let's talk about why they're taking it easy. We have eight racers in this semi. The top four advance to the main event. Once the top four gets bunched up or once a guy knows that he's somewhere in the top four, they have a chance to, to cool back and take it as it comes. Let's go to our very second B Pro Semi on the gate right now. These are the racers. Richard Zagers, Gary Ellis, Don McEwen, Rich Cardison, Ben Troyo, Sherman Smith, Chris Crisco, Kirk Crisco, and Richard Carr. These are our racers for the second B Pro Semi made. Again, four racers will advance into the main event. Let's talk about it. Well, keep an eye on Gary Ellis. He just came out of the uh, amateur ranks not too long ago. He's pulled the whole shot. Extremely strong rider, very big rider. And yeah, as you can see, he's adapting very well to this uh, A Pro class. Or the B Pro, excuse me. For those of you not familiar with the term whole shot, it's the guy that gets out of that gate first and takes the lead. And these guys are flying over this water jump. These B Pros anxious to get the break to go into the A Pro category where the heavy money is. But they'll take what they can get right now as they fight their way now. Coming around their second lap to the interior of this very high and stimulating track. In the lead right now, continuing, Gary Ellis on the Kuahara team. Gary Ellis is really stretching things out. We're going to see a lot of action here back in, this, in the fourth and fifth phase spot because, again, our top four advance. Gary Ellis walking away with it. We have Kirk Crisco in second. We have some battling going on here for the fourth and fifth, fifth spot. Fourth place is Richard Carr. And fifth place, making it into the B into the pro, uh, B pro main, also Richard Zagers. Those are our top four finishers, and those are the guys that are going to be going into the main event. Let's take a look at the kind of money these guys are winning, racing for, Dean. The B Pro first, $1,000 total, and it's not bad. It's more than an amateur makes, that's for sure. First place, $400. Second place, $200. You can see the breakdown for yourself. Dean, what keeps a B Pro driving? What's the incentive? Well, I'll tell you what, the money isn't too bad. I mean, coming out of the amateur ranks, the money is very, very appealing. Obviously, they run into larger sponsors, and they get their uh, entire trips paid for. So, this is quite a good way to go. After two rounds of the B Pro semis, we are now up to our B Pro main event. We've had 16 racers fight down to the B of the top eight, and here's who has made it to the B Pro main $1,000 total purse for this main event. Mickey Lundy, Tracer Finn, Nelson Chanity, Andy Patterson, Richard Zagers, Gary Ellis, Kirk Crisco, and Richard Carr. Those are our top A pros. These are the B pros. Above amateur, not quite the A pro, but these guys are fighting for bucks. Watch the two outside gate positions. We've got Gary Ellis and uh, Mickey Lundy. They're two very tough competitors. They may very well end up one and two into that first corner. Number one, Gary Ellis coming Which through. They do. That's Ellis and Lundy. Again, these B pros are on the outside track. They go two laps around this grueling track. On the first lap, they dig over a hard bump. Up over the step jump into this turn, setting up for the water jump. He 
He's being pros, led this water. Gary Ellis in the lead. And there's a pretty tight pack as they go around. Remember in the semis, they just wanted to make the top four. These guys are all fighting for money. Okay, now watch Lundy. He's got to be setting up Ellis at this point in the race. He looks like he's real strong. Ellis might try to block pass, but I think Lundy may sneak by. We have Mickey Lundy, number two, behind him. Nelson Chaney, we had a crash behind him, but we'll stick with our leaders. As we come down the back straight for the second time around. Number two, Mickey Lundy starting to make a move. Nelson Chaney in the three spot trying to make a move. Gary Ellis tiring out. Gary Ellis running out of steam. Mickey Lundy, number two, coming across. It's going to be $400. Winners, he comes across. Mickey Lundy, he is happy to be it. The B Pro main champion, Mickey Lundy, winning $400. Followed up by Nelson Chanady and Gary Ellis. Those are our top three pro mates. And we're going to take a run work quick look at that finish. And it's a happy man, Mickey Lundy, pacing himself throughout that main. Here he comes across the finish, Mickey Lundy saying, yeah. We'll be back with a lot more race in action right after this. Bye, BMXers. See you next time.